So sometimes it can be useful to um, use this module right here, which is the separated oil shrinkage module, to convert your separated rates to stock tank rates. Um, how that is done or why you need it is because uh, many times we actually have rates measured at separated conditions uh, and they actually never reach stock tank conditions on a single well basis. Either they're mixed into common tank batteries or they're going into extensive uh, pipeline networks uh, allowing us actually never to, to measure uh, a very important number that we need for our uh, analysis. Um, and what we need on a single day basis is the so-called separated oil shrinkage factor and the separated oil flash factor uh, from day to, uh, to day uh, to make sure that we convert those separated rates into stock tank uh, rates uh, consistently uh, and uh, that we also honor the changes in separated conditions that uh, these, uh, these rates are subject to. Uh, and in Winston Plus to do that you simply use the separate oil shrinkage module uh, in the navigation uh, panel right here, which is under the production data diagnostics. And the only thing you need to remember if you want to do that or need to do that for a, for a while is to provide the separated rates and the associated conditions uh, in the production data upload uh, for this type of analysis. Because of course, in this uh, particular case, you don't actually have anything else than separator uh, rates. And since the shrinkage factor is extremely dependent on the, uh, the associated uh, separator conditions, uh, it's important to also uh, provide uh, those to have a full uh, data set. And after you've uh, converted these uh, rates from separator to stock tank, the stock tank rates was actually what is going to be used in all the other analysis in uh, Witson Plus, it being uh, bottom of pressures, uh, it being numerical RTA or uh, full physics reservoir simulation.